Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, coming at you with yet another brand new deck profile and today I'll be showing you guys the deck that I like to call Secret Demise Village. Um, so as you'd guess by the name, uh, it's a deck that utilizes Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Uh, basically establishing that on board with a, a strong spellcaster type monster to lock your opponent out of spell cards. Uh, and then backing that up with uh, high, uh, high consistency with card demise. And then also um, you know, a lot of really strong relevant back row to keep the opponent from playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so starting off with the spellcaster type monsters, we have the free Jalgen. Um, this is basically like a barrier statue, but in spellcaster form. Uh, it's also better than any of the barrier statues going second for the fact that you can use its secondary effect uh, to discard a card to uh, destroy all sort of summon monsters on the field. Uh, next are the two Kaiku. Uh, this is here for the uh, ABC matchup since that deck did just come out today. Uh, this basically shuts down their ability to go into ABC Dragon Buster as long as it's on the board. Um, and if they're not able to get rid of it with, say, you know, a Photon Thrasher or a number of Z's monster, then they're just locked out of their ability to do that. And then when it inflicts battle damage, you can, of course, uh, banish any of their key uh, cards in Graveyard as well. Uh, two cards from Graveyard. Uh, and in general, it's also good against other matchups like, say, Cosmo, um, Ritual Beasts, and Infernoids as well. Uh, then for our final monster, we had a two Defender to Magical Knight. Uh, basically, when it's summoned to the field, it uh, gains a spell counter. And then uh, any time one of your spellcaster type monsters would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can remove a spell counter from it instead. Uh, so it's just a strong monster that has a uh, one-time uh, built-in protection uh, to hopefully keep your secret village uh, alive. Uh, so that's it for monsters. Uh, starting off with the spells, we of course have the triple secret village and the double terraforming. I uh, didn't want to play free terraforming because this deck has so much draw power already to where usually you're drawing into your secret village anyway. Uh, but a terraforming is just nice for deck thing to make sure you get to this card since that's kind of the whole point of the deck. Um, only problem with secret village right now in this format is the fact that there's uh, decks like Meadow Foes, uh, Magic Specters, and even like your know, regular performer power pendulums that have a lot of spell caches to work with. Uh, even Blue Eyes, they can normal summon like a Sage or an Effect Veiler to get around Secret Village. Um, but you'll see in the trap lineup that I have a lot of cards to um, try to mitigate that. Try to make sure that they either don't get their Spellcaster on board or they get flipped face down so that Secret Village is still alive. Uh, but against other matchups, like especially ABC, uh, it's really good to be able to shut down their spell cards. Uh, next we have the for our draw power, the Triple Card Demise, uh, Triple Paw Duality. Uh, then the one One Day Apiece and the one Upstar Goblin, pretty much the same as the uh, Barrier Statue deck. Um, if I did own Paw Desires, I probably would find room to play two or three, but uh, the card Demise uh, is a lot cheaper right now and does, I think, a better job of uh, digging deeper into your deck. Uh, then for the final spell card, we have the Triple Mage Power. I uh, decided in this version to uh, actually play the Mage Power over Moon Mirror Shield. Because uh, I normally played Moon Mirror Shield and like uh, Counter Fairy Demise or uh, Barrier Statue Demise over the Mage Power. But uh, I'm not nearly as worried about, say, Twin Twister or MST when I have Secret Village on board. So I'd rather have the Mage Power, which actually gives my monster an attack buff and hopefully will put on some more damage to actually end the game a bit quicker. Uh, so that's it for spells. Uh, starting off with the traps, we have the Free Gaga Ga Shield. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I actually wanted to try out uh, this version, well, this Demise deck in general. Uh, just, you know, with Gaga Shield, uh, you equip it onto a Spellcaster type monster, and then uh, twice per turn it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Uh, so this is like uh, Phantom Knight Sword or Phantom Knight uh, Wings for barrier statues, but on crack. I mean, being able to protect them twice per turn from any kind of destruction just means that unless they have something that banishes or something that uh, bounces back to hand or anything like that, they're just not gaining over your spellcast type monster, which means that Secret Village is staying live on board. So, Galgadoth Shield overall just a really, really strong card, uh, especially when uh, equipped with Jalgen. Uh, next with the Triple Power for Rebirth, uh, same theory behind this as I have with various statues, just always making sure that we have a monster on board to try to lock out our opponent. Um, and then the fact that it, uh, that the monster doesn't die when Rebirth dies is the reason why I play this over Call of the Haunted. Uh, next, with the Solemn Quartet, we have the Triple Solemn Strike and the One Solemn Morning. I was originally considering not playing the Strikes and instead of playing Lose the Turns, but I wanted to have something to uh, counteract my opponent's Spell Summons in case I'm not able to open Jalgen. Uh, plus, I also want to have ways to uh, get Spell Caches off the board, as I mentioned earlier, uh, to keep my Secret Village alive. Uh, that's why I decided to go with the Solemn Strikes. 
Uh, next are the Triple Story Mirror Force. Uh, again, same reason I play this for my Battle Trap as I do in Barrier Statues. Um, not only is it non-targeting removal, but it actually removes the monsters off the board and doesn't flip them face down like a Quickie Mirror Force, where um, a deck like this can sometimes have trouble gaining over uh, bigger defense monsters. Uh, next, we have the Triple Floodgate Trap Pool. Um, just a really good response of Quickie Mirror Force. Um, just another way, again, to be able to uh, flip down any spellcasters to keep my uh, Secret Village live and also flip down a monster that could potentially get over one of my spellcasters, like, say, Jalgen. Uh, then for the final uh, trap and main deck card, we have the One Vein Zempiness. Since, unfortunately, we're only able to play the free Jalgen, uh, so I want to have another, you know, just card that shuts down subtle summons, and Vein Zempiness fits the job pretty well. Um, so that's it for the main deck, total of 40 cards, uh, it's 7 monsters, 16 spells, and 17 traps. I'll go ahead and show the extra deck really quick, although it's pretty irrelevant. Uh, you'll almost never go into these, but you do have some options for rank 3s or rank 4s if that emergency situation ever comes up. Uh, so for rank 3s, we have the num 1 number 30 Acid Golem and number 47 Nightmare Shark. Uh, for 4s, we have Abyss Dweller, uh, Castell, Dark Rebellion... Uh, Diamond Dyer, Cowboy 101, uh, 106 Giant Hand, and then we have the uh, Utopia triplets here, uh, the Utopia, Utopia Prime, and Utopia the Lightning. Uh, the one number 85 Crazy Box in case we get skill drained. Uh, the one Perform Age Trapeze Magician since we're working with all spellcasters and it could potentially help us win a game sometime, who knows. <laughs> Uh, then finally, the one trap fish with Plesia, since we are playing the free Floodgate Trap Pools. Uh, so now to wrap it up with the side deck. Uh, starting us off, we have the two Breaker to Magical Warrior. Uh, just in general, a pretty solid spellcatcher type monster that starts out at 1900 attack. Uh, this is mostly here for really back or heavy matchups, especially Demise decks, uh, where this card is just, uh, just fits the role of being a spellcaster on board and also being a walking MST as well. Uh, next with a 2 Injection Fairy Lily, uh, this is really good for uh, going second, uh, trying to get over really strong monsters on board. Uh, so with Injection Fairy Lily's effect, uh, during a damage calculation, you can pay 2,000 life points uh, to give her 3,000 attack points, uh, 3,000 extra attack points uh, for that battle only. So it goes all the way up to 3,400 and can beat over most relevant threats in the game. Uh, next with a 2 MST uh, for any other annoying back row, especially a Royal Decree. Uh, next, we have the one Book of Eclipse and the one Chalice, which really should be a second Eclipse. Uh, as I said, this deck's worst uh, problem is uh, having to deal with decks that actually play spellcasters, things like Metal Foes, Magic Specters, uh, or Former Pal Pendulum. Um, also, even Blue Eyes have their uh, few spellcasters in the deck. Um, so, Book of Eclipse is there to just flip them face down to where the game doesn't recognize them as spellcasters and your Secret Village is still alive. Uh, plus, Book of Eclipse is just really, really good against Mata Spectres since they can't be targeted or destroyed, and Book of Eclipse gets around that. <clears throat> then we have the one Dark Hole and Run Regeki for going second against an established board. Uh, then we have the Triple Dark Bribe, uh, just to negate any troublesome spells and traps, uh, mostly traps with this deck, uh, could give us a problem, uh, especially things like Cosmojo and any of the Magic Spectre trap cards. Uh, then for the final side card, we have the two Anti-Spell Fragrance. Uh, this is basically here as extra, um, just extra uh, lockdown on the spell cards, especially for those Pendulum matchups that do happen to play spellcasters, since even if uh, they're able to get around the Secret Village, it'll at least shut down their ability to uh, play any Pendulum scales. Um, so that's it for this brand new deck profile for my uh, Secret Demise Village deck. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and do be looking forward to some more brand new deck profiles here within the coming days or weeks. Um, I actually am, hopefully, getting uh, my free ABC Structure decks today to where I'll actually be able to profile that for you guys, uh, along with uh, Gear Gear Gadgets and Pure Gadgets. Uh, so again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.